Isn't that incredible? That's just one pin. I'm just gonna work on this crevice for as long as I can. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. I lost my GoPro the last time I was gold hunting, so I thought, why not I go look for it, but also bring my gold pan and test different spots along the river while we go look for it. If I can find my GoPro, awesome. If I can find some gold too, awesome-er. La 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 la. There's always a concern of bears being around, so you always have to make noise. So this is where I believe I last saw my GoPro that dark, gloomy, scary day. I was accompanied by Chris, Kyle, and Jason, so it's their fault this GoPro is missing. I know it fell out of its waterproof housing, and I don't know where it fell out, so it's probably gonna be right here. No, it's not there. It's gonna be along this bedrock somewhere, or it's gonna be in the water. And I did bring my mask in my, my bag over there, in case we do see it in the water. When you're looking for lost items, it's important to take your time. You must also remember to always stay calm. Where are you? So I'm not seeing it in this area. It doesn't mean it's not here, but it's just not in this area. So what I'm thinking is because I have found gold here in the past, I'm gonna test pan this spot right here. Yeah, I like this stuff. All this material is really light. So I'm not really hopeful, but it's in line with a little crack and I found gold in the water down there. so. You'd think it would be up here too. So first pan in the spot that I believe had no gold and there's no gold. So yeah, let's change spots. I went upstream a little further and I'm in an area where we found a nugget. Actually right there. 3.6 grams or something like that. Anyway, yeah, this is the area. You can see kind of where we've been, we've been playing. So again, I know there's gold here. I see this little trough here and I also noticed a little bit of packed rock in there. And I clearly haven't worked this spot before, so I'm gonna dig this little piece out and see what's in it. Now, I only brought my shovel. My other tools for picking are in my bag, which I don't wanna go downstream to get right now. But hopefully they'll be gold in here. I love these brushes. They work super duper. I love these hands. They work duper super. So just out of that little bit right there, this is what I pulled out of it. So let's just test this and see if it's worth continuing. I think there'll be gold in here. All right, <clears throat> moment of tooth. Let's see, okay. Oh, not bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you. We found some candy, including one nice rough looking bit. <laughs> That's awesome. And we have two little pieces of fly poop in there as well. So I think we're gonna continue on in that crevice for a bit. So two of the most valuable things I have learned while being a gold prospector is that number one, when you find a piece of gold, it lets you know that there could be gold around. So you just gotta keep looking. Number two, when you buy Pioneer Poly merchandise, it may... So I've been working at removing this rock for the last 10 years and I still can't seem to make it budge. Now it's wedged in there so much so that I know it hasn't moved in a long time, which is a very good sign. And also I noticed that I am scratching on clay, which is also a good sign. So I forgot I had this little guy in my bag. It's gonna take a while, but you know. Okay, pan number two, a little bit more material out of the same crack. Let's go. Oh, wow, that's not gonna be a bad pan, actually. That's pretty good, actually. Let's see if I can do the reveal with one hand here. Look at that. That is good. There are 18 pieces of gold right there. And that's just one pan. And look, we even have a piece of ironstone, a bigger piece of that. It lets us know that there is heavies getting in that spot. That is really good, actually. So I, I feel like I'm kind of underreacting right now, but I'm honestly a little bit shocked that there's 18 pieces of gold, not even a full pan in that crevice. And look, that was our second pan in about two and a half feet. And I want you to look at this. It goes this way. It runs all the way up here, all the way up here, and then it even can, it carries on into the water. I wouldn't be surprised if you were finding that much gold in all of this entire crevice, you could easily pull out maybe an ounce of gold. 
I don't know about you, but if I were me and I'm me, I'm gonna wait to go look for my GoPro and I'm just gonna work on this crevice for as long as I can. <laughs> so I just swiped all this stuff into a little pile and I wiped a little piece of gold right there. Focus! Right there! <laughs> That's a good sign that there could be gold around. See, now I can use this shovel and try to pick her up. Right there. Yes! Uh, come on, you stupid rock! I did it! Oh! Another little guy! I just found another little piece of gold. Right there in the center of the screen. But that nonetheless is incredible. I'm gonna clean out all this and try to make a really big full pan and then I'm gonna probably continue this way before I go up that way. I do really like how there's clay in the bottom of this, which is decomposing bedrock. And gold typically will work its way in that clay. So this is what we're looking at so far quite a decent crevice and now I'm just right here working on a little bit of this packed rock in here I'm gonna continue up we almost have a full pan of this glorious dirt so yeah this is our biggest pan so far <laughs> I'm actually really excited to pan this one out. If it's anything like the last pan, <clears throat> we're gonna find more than 18 pieces of gold. You can see the water getting really mucky. That's good. It means there's water around. There we go. See, we have a... Oh, disappeared. We had, yeah, a piece of gold right there. Good sign, baby. Some more big iron stone. Come on, our biggest pan of the day. Three, four. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, we're not even done. Look at, there's still a, there's still a thing of sand here. I should have done that. Let's do the wash. That is very, very nice. Wow. Okay, in my last video, I was explaining how I was kind of low-key depressed or a little bit sad because I didn't like gold panning and I was just feeling a bit discouraged. This is when I like to gold pan, when you're on a good spot and you're finding decent gold. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> There's like 35 pieces in there. I think I lost count after 35. I can't count past 35. What I'm noticing is this crevice is loaded in small pieces of gold. Now that's obviously not a bad thing, but all that is is just flood gold, and all flood gold is is just little pieces of gold that get carried away during a flood. Now obviously the flood gold here just accumulated over a long period of time, and now me get to go find it. That is awesome. I mean, look at that! That's just one pen! Oh my goodness! I'm glad I lost my GoPro. Let's not find it ever. So I just did another pan, and I moved up along this way. I didn't feel it because I have to save battery now. And this is what we have. So still really, really good. Less than our last pan, but we didn't do as big of a pan either. So I also found some ironstone, lead, gold, black sand, and a garnet that I lost somewhere. Now I just have to decide if I wanna continue downstream this way and move all these big rocks out of the way and try our luck there, or we come upstream a little bit and we start on this bit. I am running out of battery on my phone here. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more strategic on how I film. I won't film every single pan now because I don't wanna waste too much battery, but at the same time, I want you guys to check out gold as I find it. Either way, I'm doing my best here, guys. So let's continue this way. I changed my mind, let's go this way because there's too much sun over there and I wanna be over here near the shade. So I normally just scoop all the light stuff off and throw it away, but because we're finding a lot of gold here, I'm just gonna pan it and just see what may be in the surface. So, almost nothing. We have like four or five pieces of gold in there, but um, a lot less than I thought there would be. So yeah, most of the gold is at the very bottom here. So we're gonna go to the middle layer and see what kind of gold is there. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna have a quick break, have some water, maybe go for a swim, climb a tree, eat some food, avoid the sand flies and uh, cool off because it is really warm out here. 
All right, so right now I'm just sitting in the shade on the other side of the river. I did three more pans out of that spot. And even though we are still finding decent gold, I do believe it's starting to disappear. Now, it's either because we are starting to move away from that deeper zone right here, and the flood is just blowing everything else that way, or where we were is the best spot, but maybe over here could be better, I don't know. Either way, we're not done the day yet, but we're getting very close because I'm getting exhausted and it's a thousand, hundred, thousand, hundred degrees out today. And nobody likes those temperatures or at least I don't. So what I'm going to do here is dig one more big pan out of here, then come over to the front side of it and then do a big pan test right here. And then we'll kind of decide if it's worth going that way or this way. Either way, I'm coming back to work this entire crevice because I imagine that's going to be pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. We have about 14 pieces of gold in this one. Well, actually 15 if you count this guy, but he kind of went rogue and disappeared on us. So yeah, he's no longer gold. So now I'm gonna do a full pan out of this spot and I'm actually gonna move a lot of this light material out of the way. And I'll pile it right here in case we do do, 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 in case we do use that next time. Because what I really wanna test here is the deep stuff, kind of what we were finding over there, but hopefully it's concentrated better here. Hopefully we get a good test and hopefully mayonnaise. Oh, that's a, that's a heavy, nice piece of quartz. That's a heavy, that's a heavy, nice piece of quartz. Oh. <clears throat> Ow! That was a heavy, a heavy, nice piece of quartz to the face. Ugh. This is a heavy- So what I'm noticing here is that it's wet. As you can see, there's a bit of water in there, which means there's probably gonna be water all through this. Not really a bad thing, but it also sucks because it's gonna be hard to actually get material out without a, a sucker thing. But that rock seems packed in there, so it might still be good in here. Well, I know it'd probably be good in here. The only question is, is it a question? Some real nice packed rock in there, right in line of where we found all that gold, so this should be good. And it's also deeper as well, so it should be really good. I already seen another piece of gold in there. Right there. Okay, so this is the last pan I'm gonna do. You can see all that blue clay in there. That is where I think most of the gold is coming from. That same, it's what we found over there. Same, same. So with any luck, there should be one piece of fly poop in here. Uh, this is heavy! <laughs> <laughs> So our very last pan, there is easily 20 pieces in there, a little bit more. I just don't know how to do the alphabet. Yep, looks really good guys, looks really good. So clearly I'm gonna have to come back and really work this area because obviously there's a lot of gold there and why not go away, get a job, flies. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm really gonna try not to complain because I'm the one in my bare feet. But I deserve that. You are a bad rock. Ow! So as I was saying, we are gonna have to come back here because in this area right here, we found all that gold. And obviously, this looks like a bigger, longer, deeper crevice. Don't say it. And I'm not really logical, but logically speaking, if there's gonna be that gold over there, there's gonna be a lot more over here. Owie! So with that being said, let's dump out our snuffer bottle, see what we got for the day, then let's go home and wait and see what we got in total. <laughs> How much gold did we find in that crevice? Even though we're not done that crevice. Ah, oh, it looks so much better when it's in the pan. Look at that. That is so good. Ugh, even though they're all pretty small, that's okay. That's still beautiful gold. All right, let's go to the house and weigh it. All right, here's the gold in there. Uh, oh, I know it's a little wet, but that's just drool. The gold always looks so much smaller when you get home, but I think that's just a part of gold. I think they just like to 
do that. Do we get to eat dinner? 1200 ounces. 0.47 grams. So $50,000. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you're probably going to enjoy part two when we come back and spend a lot more time in that crevice. Bananas!